This is My School by Mark Weaklin, illustrated by Nina de Polonia Nell. Name Kushi. Birthday February 7. Favorite color pink. Favorite food cheeseburgers. Favorite animal cat. I want to be a doctor. Inside my school. Hi, I'm Kushi, and this is my school. There are so many things to see, hear, and smell inside. We have rooms filled with books and computers. We also have special rooms for making music and art. There is a place to play sports and a place to eat lunch. Come on, let's go exploring. The Office Buzz Our first stop is the office. Phones ring, bells ding, the copy machine hums non-stop. People buzz in and out all day. The principal works in the office. The office coordinators do too. Every phone call for the school comes through the office. So does every person who visits the building. The office is like a busy beehive. Time to learn. Here's where I spend most of my day at school. My classroom. All classrooms are safe places for kids to learn. They have books, paper, and pencils. They have teachers who care about kids too. But classrooms also have things that make them different from each other. Some classrooms have bean bags and bouncy balls to sit on. Some have plants, fish, or class pets. Your turn. What makes your classroom special? Books and more. The next stop is the library. Sometimes we call this place the media center. It has books, magazines, newspapers, ebooks, and computers. Our librarian helps us find whatever we need. He seems to know everything about everything. We even have a makerspace in our library where we all share ideas and work together. Let's eat. After visiting the library and feeding our brains, it's time to feed our stomachs. We always have lots of good food to eat in the lunchroom. First, we scan our meal card. Then, we wait our turn in the serving area. I really like our servers. If I ask nicely, they give me extra peaches. Once our trays are full, we find a place to sit in the seating area. My friends and I make sure no one sits alone. Get moving. Squeak, tweet, thump, thump, thump. The gym is a big, noisy place with a tall ceiling and a wooden floor. It's filled with the sounds of tennis shoes, whistles, and bouncing balls. A gym is a place to play sports, such as basketball or volleyball. Gyms also hold concerts and assemblies. Our school mascot is painted on the gym wall. Go Eagles! Your turn. If you were a gym teacher, what sport would you teach to others and why? Special classrooms. Some classrooms are extra special. The art room is full of colorful paintings and drawings we've done.
It smells like clay and markers. Next door is the music room. We sing and play instruments in there. We don't always sound the best, but we try hard. Down the hall is the computer room. It's really quiet. All you hear are whirring fans and clicking keys. Bathroom break. What's one kind of room every school building has? Bathrooms. All school bathrooms have toilets, sinks, and air dryers or paper towels. My school has a few big bathrooms with lots of stalls and a few small bathrooms. The small ones have just one toilet. In some elementary schools, each classroom has its own single toilet bathroom. One awesome school. That's it. That's my school. From the office to the gym, each room is special and important in its own way. When you put them all together, they make one awesome place for my friends and me to learn. But what's the best part of any school? That's the people in it. Your turn. What is your favorite room in your school and why? Glossary. Assembly. A meeting of lots of people. Coordinator. Someone who makes sure things are in order and running smoothly. Makerspace. A place where people gather to work on projects and share ideas, usually about computers or technology. Mascot. A person or animal that stands for a school, sports team, or other group. Media. A group of mediums that share messages, including TV, radio, and the internet. Principal. The head of a public school. Stall. A small, closed, in-space bathroom. Stalls have a toilet inside them. Whirring. Low, buzzing sound. Critical thinking questions. Number one, what do you think would happen if a school didn't have a library? What if it didn't have an office or bathrooms? Number two, the author says that the best part of any school is the people in it. What evidence does he give us in this book to prove that statement? Use the text and illustrations to support your answer. Number three, are there rooms in your school that weren't shown in this book? What would you tell a friend about those rooms?